So procedural design, or generation, simply refers to the concept of creating assets or interactions algorithmically, as opposed to having a designer author those assets themselves. In other words, procedural design involves creating, well, a procedure which a computer follows in order to design something. While random elements are often utilized in procedural design, a common misconception is that all procedural design involves randomness. And this is not true. Uh, procedural design simply involves following a predefined set of instructions, regardless of whether or not those instructions involve random inputs. So for example, we could model this building here by creating some primitives, transforming them, and then with uh, just a few simple modeling operations, we could construct this manually. Or we could break the asset down into some descriptors or parameters and construct it with software according to a predefined procedure. So just by taking a look at this, we can easily see that, well, the, the building has a, a certain width, a height, and a depth. Um, there's a few optional features we could have here, such as, you know, maybe we uh, might add these windows, maybe we'll include a chimney, right? We could turn off those features. Uh, maybe we could have a different style of roof, All right? So there's, there's, there's a number of parameters we can define for this asset. So if we were to approach this modeling task procedurally, we could instead create a tool which is designed to create a floor and uh, walls and a roof of certain width, height, and depth. And uh, then this, this tool will position all of those elements correctly and uh, optionally allow us to either include or not include uh, some of these optional features. Right, so this is a deterministic process with precisely one end product always resulting from a particular set of parameters. Tools like this can be used in film or game production as a cost and time saving measure. For example, in game development, a level designer may use a tree generation tool to quickly create an aesthetically pleasing tree of precise height and foliage density to suit the environment. Right, this is in contrast to modeling the tree themselves or having the modeling team prepare a library of trees to choose from. Right, which may or may not suit the precise environments the level designer is envisioning. The software package Houdini is often used to create these sort of digital assets, and is widely used in film and game development. We don't have time to cover Houdini in this course, however I'd highly recommend looking into it if you have any interest in procedural design. As an example of what's possible in Houdini, uh, we can take a look at these uh, characters here, and uh, we see that all these mesh components for these characters were each generated and also exported to FBX files, uh, all inside of Houdini with a single button click. Right, so none of this was modeled by hand. Of course, the theme here is low fidelity sci fi armor suits, but a Houdini digital asset could be set up to assemble whatever you like.